Ooh. It is hot outside and wet as f and I wore a long sleeve and jeans. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was trying really hard right now to set up the tripod on my dashboard and there's no way that I could do that. So on the bucket list today is to get a um, mount for my phone for the car so that I can vlog in the car. Um, I'm vlogging. Is this how you do it? By putting your phone in the car and videotaping yourself Whatever, I like it but... so for anybody wondering um I am doing school um for electrolysis and um aesthetics I think that's what it's called it's crazy how I don't know what any of this is called, but it's um, skincare and hair removal. Um, I'm getting dual licensed um, to be an esthetician and a um, laser hair removal specialist. I may be saying all of this incorrect, to be honest. I have no idea. Today's gonna be fun. Okay, so it's um, like 8.30 something. I actually got here a lot earlier than I thought. I probably don't need to get anything to eat right now. Um, I probably should have though. I should have gotten a protein bar or something. I think that's okay. <laughs> I guess I'll probably Uber eat something um, after. But we'll see. I'm gonna put you guys back on my tripod and we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you inside a little bit. I'm not gonna videotape too much my first day. Um, mostly little snippets, probably do a montage or something. Well, first off, the ambience was amazing. They had really soothing music playing and it felt like I was in a spa rather than a beauty school. Um, they even used me as a guinea pig and did a facial and a back facial on me and everything was just super nice. Hey guys, so I just got back from school my first day and it was honestly amazing. I am super happy. Everybody was so welcoming, so nice. I even had two girls do two different treatments on me. I did a facial. I don't know if you guys can tell. My skin honestly feels amazing and it looks really amazing too. And they also did a back facial slash massage and it was so nice. Like I am honestly... I'm so excited. We're gonna start driving. to the shopping center um, I'm actually gonna go into Dee Dee's um, first just because I love their deals and I honestly haven't been to Dee Dee since before quarantine we're gonna go check out in there um, all right guys I'm armed and dangerous let's go in <laughs> Alright guys, well I'm borderline obsessed with Dee Dee's. I saw these really cute orange flats which I thought I would get, um, but I didn't. And then I was looking to a shoe some more and I actually saw these really cute black sandals and remembered how I actually need some cute plain black sandals that can go with any outfit. So I actually just dropped them in my cart. And then I also saw this really cute mug. Um, it said the Lord is my strength and my shield and I absolutely adored it. And I also saw this journal that said, with God, all things are possible. Then I explored the men's section and saw that there were two really nice shirts that I wanted to get for Gio. And they were at a really good price of $5 and this one at $4. Hey guys, 
So I just got into the car from Didi's. I'm about to um, go now to live below um, and check out what stuff they have. Marshalls too, because they always have great deals. I'll probably check Burlington, but I don't think I want to because Burlington is so big. Um, but we'll see. So yeah. Another one I'm equally obsessed with is Five Below. So I saw this really cool phone holder that I thought I would get, but I actually ended up going with two other options. And then I also saw um, they had a lot of really cool back to school supplies and really cute stationary items like this stapler here. And they had a lot of cute journals too that you can use for school for notes or even just to write out your thoughts or use as a planner. I especially like this one. And they had a lot of cute um, different little styles. And then I also saw these really nice cups that I thought were adorable. And I would love to come back and get the toucan one. I absolutely fell in love with it to use as my iced coffee cup. Five Below is also known for having a bunch of toys in their selections. They have a bunch of collector items too, like little figurines and stuff like that. And I also saw they had these silly bands. Do you guys remember the old ones from when we were in elementary school? <laughs> and then I also saw they had a cool little washing machine for your beauty blender and a makeup brush cleaner, which I actually did purchase this. And then I also looked at the decor and I saw this really pretty butterfly um, breed portrait and then the everyone is welcome here sign. I absolutely loved it. They also had a wide selection of activity and coloring books. And now to Marshalls. And like always, I had to go into the makeup section and check out what they had. And of course, um, Marshalls had Morphe and Too Faced palettes for a really good price. I also saw they had Urban Decay Moon Dust. And then I also saw they had a wide selection of mascaras, lashes, Milani makeup, some more Morphe makeup, some Stella I saw that they had, and some cover FX. And then I also checked out the coffee and picked myself up some medium roast of Joe, and also checked out the food too. Alright guys, so I am so sorry for the shitty lighting, but the sun is going down so i didn't go into ross i just went into um dds uh marshall's and five below yes i went into um those stores i didn't go into ross and i didn't go into burlington i wanted to show this off so my tripod broke yes about two days after i got it delivered to my house it broke um probably not for me but i am going to have to reorder it which sucks but i actually while i was in five below right before i decided i was gonna reorder it this is literally just a smaller version of my tripod my tripod is literally bigger than this it's just it's this with the little white tips and everything it's just bigger and that's so crazy so i like the smaller one because i think the smaller one is is what i'll take into stores because it was kind of awkward having this big ass like weapon looking thing while i'm walking around the store so i like this one more and i think i'm gonna be using this i'm just gonna show you guys everything so my car radio right now is locked and we don't have any code to unlock it um because the battery died or whatever so when the battery died it's a stupid smart car but it's dumb so the radio is locked and i haven't had a working radio in months months and i go crazy especially if my car rides are longer than five minutes so i bought myself a a bluetooth speaker and it's super cool because it's color changing um from five below honestly you can't go wrong with anything that comes from five below because everything's five and below except recently because they started actually doing like 10 and below sections which I'm hoping that doesn't end up becoming like the whole store and they keep most of it at 5 and below because that's literally why I shop at 5 and below because it's cheap. But yeah, I got this. So I'm really excited. I hope it works well because um, I like my music loud. A makeup brush cleaner thing, like the scrubbing 
pad whatever that what is it called oh i guess a cleaner but um i am so excited to try this my brushes haven't been washed in a long time i know it's gross uh, so i bought this and i bought it in this cute teal color because the other one was like a hot pink and we're too old for hot pink i got which i honestly only got it for the magnets because i already have a really good um car vent no it's not for the vent though it's a phone holder for your for the car i have a really good one that goes on the window or whatever or it can even go on the dashboard but i don't have any spare magnets so i bought this one which i'm gonna end up keeping this anyways but the vents in my car are really weird and they're slanted a certain way so this honestly doesn't work i've tried it before so i'll probably give this one to geo but i needed the magnet so i bought one of these just for the magnet and i also bought so i also bought um one of these cute little things so my little sister collects these and um she collects the bigger versions but not the really big ones that they're like the original size they're like i don't know like probably like the next one biggest to this so i bought this because what's super cute about it so i actually think she has the original bigger version of this but when you flip it it becomes another animal and i think that is the cutest thing ever so i got it for her and i'm gonna um surprise her and stuff like that because i think it's super cute and i think she would love it a lot um so i'm super happy i'm gonna leave it at the boring one he's not boring he's cute he's cute but i wanted to show off these cute pajama sets that i got from Didi's. they were only like seven bucks each so oh my god and they're so cute i've wanted to um replace my pajamas because they're all from when i was almost 300 pounds so they're all 2x and up and although they're comfy and they're the pajama dresses they're very comfy but i'm ready to move on so i bought these pajama sets i got them in large just because it comes to my pajamas i like them very loose fitted but i also like them cute so i got two sets so i got this one that says bonjour um and it has like that cute um boston terrier there and i actually used to have a boston terrier her name was phoebe rest in peace but the shorts like i love how like all of them have like different colored sunglasses and stuff and it's honestly super cute oh my gosh and you know what I actually completely forgot to show you guys this and I just remembered because the quality in the video went bad really quick because of the lighting. So I bought this. It, it is a clip on selfie light and it's in a cat. Uh, they had bear which literally looked exactly like the cat one it's just blue and then the unicorn one which is again hot pink and we don't do that in this household i am so happy about this it has three settings it has like the low middle and high setting so this is low this is middle and this is high wow <gasps> what in the world that's crazy okay hold on now that we're like that so that's high that's low middle wow for five bucks way that's crazy scary stories in the dark we have the charger and then this just goes clipped onto here dude i'm telling you guys this is honestly the coolest shit that i've ever seen bought from pipe below oh my god and i love it it's adjustable so like you can go up and down and then you just clip it to your phone low medium hi oh my god that is crazy I believe that that light is so good i'm gonna have to invest in some contacts my glasses are like my my accessory and i'm honestly so happy that that works like that like i honestly never thought that ring lights like the little lights and stuff for the phone ever worked well because it was such a small light like how could it oh my gosh wow i can't stop looking at myself i look good too okay, back to business so i got another pajama set it was super cute i actually like this one more i wish that it came in a different color though because pink but it's nasa and of course we got the hot pink going on and the shorts are just 
basic pink. And I got Geo 2 shirts because they were such a good price. And I want to actually come back and get him more, to be honest. Got him this shirt that I thought was super cute because of this color blocking here. I think color block t-shirts are so nice for men. But also another thing is this muscle tee that has the pocket and it looks like it's double layered but that's the effect and it has the hoodie in the back. And I absolutely love these. So this one was um this one was actually 4 bucks and then this one was uh 5 bucks the other one. And they're really nice. They're good quality and everything. I'm so happy. You know why I am not buying him so much? It's because I just bought him a lot of um, shirts from Cotton On because Cotton On has been having this badass clearance, which I honestly think I might just go back and see if they still have the clearance because if they do, I'm just going to buy from them. They have amazing stuff. And now these shoes, I'm so excited. I needed black sandals. Like, I don't have black sandals. I have these gold ones that are cute, but they don't go with a lot of things so i bought these black ones because they were basic and they were only seven bucks which i thought was really good for some basic black sandals which i needed then from marshall's i didn't get shit from marshall's that was worth like getting i guess i got a lot of good footage and there was a lot of stuff but i wasn't there to buy that stuff and it's things that i want to end up doing future videos on so i didn't buy a lot of shit but what I did buy were chip clips because we really needed them. So I bought a pack for the sake of everybody. I'm going to start a thing where I get um, food from stores like Ross and TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff. Because honestly, I feel like that's very underrated and I don't think people go and look at the food. It's good shit. Like I'm certain 90% of the food that is given to Marshalls and Ross and TJ Maxx to sell out aren't because they're expired but it's because of packaging issues and I personally don't see an issue with that especially if it's something that I normally would get for $20 I'm getting for 15 or 10 even so I mean I don't think any food item is that much they have a lot of wholesome stuff I got this coffee, which I've heard really great things about this coffee. I got the medium roast, um, but I got this coffee because I ran out of ground coffee for my cold brew, and I like my iced coffee. I will do a video on how I do my cold brew, um, but that will most likely be on my IG because it is um, a smaller video. So I also got, which I'm so excited about, and it's closed and everything, but spirulina powder. I wanted to try this for years, years. So it says here it's a good source of protein. There's six grams of protein per serving and per serving is only two teaspoons. The basic smoothie for this is one banana, one cup of spinach, one teaspoon, and then um, one cup of whatever non-dairy milk you want to use. The ingredients is literally just organic Okay, I can't focus it. So whatever, I bought this, I'm gonna try it, and I will tell you guys how it is. Um, I am actually going to do a whole Marshalls, Ross, and TJ Maxx food haul because I feel like it's very underrated and I don't think many people look to the food because they think it's all just expired shit that tastes bland, and that's not true. And I'm here to break that to you. So I am going to start driving home now and um, yeah, get to editing footage and hopefully I get this edited enough that I can post it tomorrow. <laughs>